What's up, guys? Merry Christmas to all. It's Christmas Eve. My kitchen's a total disaster. Making some pizza and uh, a few requests. I figured before I finish my second double crust pizza, like I've done here, uh, a few people requested a uh, how to video on how to make uh, a white uh, double crust pizza. I guess I thought it was maybe a little too simple, so I didn't put out any content. But for those of you who've been asking, here's how you put one together. You have your dough, press it out into an old forge pan. Uh, this is actually the Lloyd Grandma pizza pan, same dimensions as an old forge generally. Um, so you can use any dough recipe at all. You can buy the dough from the store, whatever it is. This is just my, uh, this is actually my pan fried Sicilian dough recipe, which is on the website. Uh, you can check that out. Then, very simple, just like a grilled cheese. You have dough, cheese, more dough, right? So this is a blend of brick mozzarella and cheddar some people like to add a little american cooper's a great one to put in there um but you know whatever it is now when you're uh you're putting in the cheese i like to leave about a finger width from the where you're putting the cheese to the edge of the pan so that we have room to crimp down the dough at at the end of the process here so you want to make sure it's a good blend uh don't put it in you know don't shred into the bowl and then not mix up the cheese uh, because otherwise you'll be able to sort of tell and it won't taste quite as good if you don't have that good distribution of flavors and textures and this is the simplest way guys you can put onions in here um, actually the one that I just showed you is a steak and cheese double crust white um, so a lot of options here a lot of people like broccoli but I'm not cooking for people who love onions here so we are going to leave those out. All right, so you got your cheese blend here, and I have quite a bit there. That's probably oh, uh, two and a half pounds or so, I would say, I, I've used in there. But more the merrier, I guess, right? Um, so you're going to want to season it, too. You can use fresh garlic. Uh, I like using just uh, granulated garlic. And don't be afraid to go a little heavy on that, heavier than you think, because there's a lot of dough and there's a lot of cheese. So I'm going to put a little pepper in here, it makes me happy, and some Italian seasoning. You can go with just oregano, whatever it may be. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Cheese and seasoning inside. Then you're going to grab your second piece of dough. Again, same thing. Uh, you could buy it at the store if you want. You could do it with a Pillsbury pizza dough if you want. Whatever. Uh, it's a simple pizza. It's basically a giant grilled cheese. Um, or some people, I guess people call it a, a stromboli, uh, but I, stromboli to me is a uh, long sort of rolled up, uh, non-pan non type of thing, but some people call it that. All right, so you press it down, and then I like to get a little fancy edge on it, so I take my handy pizza cutter here. And we're just gonna go down around each edge. Bit of a hurry here just to keep this video short. See how you get that nice little edge there when you use the, the pizza cutter. Tip they taught me back in the pizzerias when I first started. A little olive oil on top. You can use a brush if you like. I don't have that time, so I'm gonna use my sanitized hands. on there it's also good to get it out in the edges too. get that nice crispy crust and then of course you're going to want to season the top some more garlic get a little more of that uh, Italian seasoning and then for me I need to have this on every white pizza and that is rosemary the aromatics and the, the flavor that come out of it it worked so well uh, with the white pizza i don't recommend the uh the full um i guess leaf uh, rosemary leaf it's kind of hard to eat so i get the ground uh, rosemary there but that's it cook it in the oven uh depending on your oven i'm going to use about 400 and uh 
Cook it till it's golden brown, pop a hole in the middle, and you see the cheese start bubbling up. You know it's melted inside. And you have yourself a double crust white pizza, NEPA style. Merry Christmas, guys.